a hexagonal bolt. In this lesson, we're going to draw the front plan and end elevation of a hexagonal bolt. Now, for this demonstration here, we're going to be drawing a M10 bolt. What that means, M10 means major diameter. So the major diameter of the shaft is 10 millimeters. Now, if we notice the dimension in, we're going to see major diameter D, then the height of the bolt head is 0.7 or 0 0.7 D. The distance across flat for the bolt head is 1.5 D. So, according to what the diameter of the shredded shaft is, you would have to multiply these dimensions here by that factor. So, for example, the height is 0.7 D and we're doing an M10 bolt. That means 0.7 times 10 is going to be 7. The height of the bolt head is going to be 7 millimeters. And the same thing for the distance across flat, 1.5 by 10, that is going to be 15 millimeters. So all these dimensions here must be multiplied by whatever this major diameter of the bolt is. So we're going to start with the plan of the bolt. So what we would need, we would need to draw the distance across flats. We're going to use a circle. That circle is going to be 1.5D times 10. That's going to be diameter 15. And we're going to draw a circumscribed hexagon around it. And that completes the plan of the bolt. So next we're going to draw the front of the bolt, of the head of the bolt. And we're going to start with a base point. We're going to pull our dimension from the plan. And we're going to offset the height, which is 0.7D. Remember, it's a M10. So it's going to be D is equal to 10, so 0.7 times 10 is 7. So that offset is going to be 7 millimeters. And we're going to complete that face of the bolt. Now what you will realize is that there are some arcs there on the top edge. We're going to draw those in. And to get those, we need a construction circle. The radius of this construction circle is 0 0.75 times D. So for M10 bolt, it's going to be 7.5. And we need two of these circles. The first one at the center, at the top middle of the bolt head, and the second one from the bottom of the circle. So the bottom of the first circle is where we draw the second circle and not the bottom of the bolt head. Now, we need these two circles to get these centers for arcs there. So when the two circles in the sec on top, uh, in the middle there, those are centers, and at the bottom of the second circle, that is another center. These are centers, we're going to use those centers to draw arcs on the top of the bolt head. To complete the definition of the top of the bolt head, we need a 30 degree line that we're going to put in the corner there. It's a bevel. And we're going to trim it to suit. Before we draw the shaft, we're going to move on to the end of the bolt head. We're going to start with the, we're going to do the 
front of the bolt head and the end of the bolt head. So we don't need that construction anymore. I'm just going to hide it. And I'm going to pull my orthographic construction lines for getting the end elevation. For this construction, we need three construction circles. All of these will be radius R, which is 0 0.75 times D, which in this case D is 10, because I am 10 bolt. So it's going to be 7.5. And the centers are the top left hand, the center, and the top right hand corners. Where these circles intersect, are those points there? Those are centers for arcs that we're going to draw on top. And to complete our bolt, we just draw in the sides, the top, and that center piece there. And that is complete the bolt head. Well, let's take away that construction line. Now in AutoCAD, we just um, turn off the layer. So it's there if you want to bring it back, but we don't need it now. So what we're going to do now is the shaft. So let me just make some room there. Now it's a M10, so the major diameter is going to be 10. And the shaft itself could be as long as is needed for all the bolts. So this is not a it's not a standard length for a bolt because bolts come in varying lengths. But what we know is that what is standard is the threaded portion. Now this is for a bolt with the length up to 125 millimeters, the threaded portion is 2D plus 6, which in this case is going to be 2 times 10 plus 6, 26. It's going to be 10 millimeters, and we draw a 1 millimeter gap for the offset for the threading to show the thread. And we just put that in there, and that's our bolt front plan and end elevation of our bolt.